FIFA 20 is out, and if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team coins to get your dream squad, make sure you check out my sponsor, u7buy.com. They provide a cheap and reliable service for coins and accounts. Link in the description. Use your code Haber and get yourself an extra 5% off when you are at the checkout. It's a brand new Sunday, and you know what that means. It's time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams, of course, on FIFA 20 and being on Early Access. Now, if you want to be involved in this series, you don't know what it is. This is a series where I showcase your teams on the screen, and I talk about your teams, how you can improve them, etc., based on the criteria you give me. Uh, all I ask from you is you send me a HD screenshot, whether that be taken from your PlayStation, from your Xbox, or directly from El Gato. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for a tutorial on how to do that. And send me the team on Twitter using the hashtag It's Haber. The hashtag is the only way I actually can find these teams and search through specific photos. So please remember the hashtag It's Haber. And remember to follow me on Twitter, because if you don't follow me, you're not getting involved in the series. I do apologize. Now, give me a brief description. What do you play in game? If that's not your formation that you play in game, where do people play? Well, where do players play? You know, people tend to give me two screenshots. That's always helpful. If you give me a screenshot of how you start and how you play in game, uh, how many coins have you got? Where do you have in your foot champions? And who's untradeable slash tradable? There, that's all I ask. That's the crit criteria I ask you for. I do apologize that I am butchering all my words today, but that's the criteria I ask you for. So if you want to get involved next Saturday, send me a screenshot of your team using the hashtag it's Haber with what I've just described, uh, and I'll feature it in the Sunday episode. So we've got five teams, but before we do that, I thought I'd talk to you guys about my team, and you're probably noticing one thing. Yes, I've got three million coins sat there. It's a lot of coins. Uh, I don't know what to do with my team. I was thinking doing something like this. So I actually packed myself an untradeable Kula Barley in a gold upgrade pack. And he looks solid apart from 69 acceleration. So I kind of want to try this guy out. I do want to give him a go, see if he's good. I've heard good things about him. But I also want to buy Big Ronaldo. However... I am willing to possibly not buy Ronaldo if it means getting a better squad all round. I just don't know how I want to do it. I've heard great things about Dembele. I've heard great things about a lot of players. And I'm just trying to figure out what the best way to do it is. So if you guys want to help me out, I would appreciate it. If you guys could give me suggestions for a 3 million coin squad builder. That includes Koulibaly and potentially Ronaldo. But it doesn't have to re include Ronaldo if you think that you can include someone better. Or make the team better without including Ronaldo. So please, down below... Uh, or on Twitter, just let me know, really. You don't have to, but if you want to, it'd help me out because I am stumped right now. I I've done that thing where I've got too many coins and I have no idea what to do with them. So, yeah, we're in that kind of situation. Regardless, though, we're going to jump into it and actually find your squads and talk about your squads and how you guys can improve them. Let's get into it. The first squad is from Aston or Aston Live. Of course, does follow me on Twitter, and this is his squad. He didn't really give me anything to go with the squad, but as it's the first one of the new season, I totally understand that few people might not uh, understand really the concept of it. So I do. Uh, I'll let you guys off for the, uh, for the first episode. Please give me brief, uh, not brief, uh, sorry, maybe more exaggerated details about your squads. I'd love to hear all about them so I can give you guys my judgment. Now, he said he's saving up for Allison, um, and this is a really, really nice squad. Now, I don't know if you play this in game or not, but I think that you've gone with a really nice meta squad. Um, I personally didn't enjoy Jaden Sancho, but then again, I'm not great at FIFA 20. I am really struggling to adapt. I will adapt eventually. It's just that I'm taking a little bit more time than other people. Um, so maybe I'll enjoy Jaden Sancho again once I've adapted the gameplay and I feel like I'm a better player. But I will be playing a lot of games and trying to adapt as quickly as possible. Um, I like this side over here. Martial's incredible. Luke Shaw feels really good this game. Same with Joe Gomez. Uh, I haven't tried Sizoko this year yet, but I am looking forward to trying him. And I played against Jamie Vardy and he's an absolute menace. In terms of the squad though, um, of course, upgrade Allison, And I think you've got a fantastic squad realistically. Um, I wouldn't really change anything apart from maybe just upgrading players here and there as you go along uh maybe instead of getting uh jb vardy maybe you go with someone else up top maybe you go with a hyung min son when you get the coins or even a marcus rashford if you can afford marcus rashford that is um eventually so uh, i would personally work on that apart from that it's a really nice squad um and i like what you've done over here with the bundesliga links a kanji looks incredible this year and it's a card that i would love to try however like i said i'm in the, the typical and like the situation i get myself in every year where I have too many coins and I have no idea what to do with them, basically. So that's why I'm struggling. Uh, however, I think that you really have got your team on lock. And I think you know exactly what you're doing. So GG's, I'm liking the team. And interestingly enough, you're on Xbox. 
don't know how many people will be on Xbox, but uh, interestingly enough, you are. So I'm going to see how many people are on Xbox in this episode because I didn't check beforehand. And it's just an interesting fact, really, how many people are on Xbox this year. I'd love to know. The next one is from It's Me w DWC. Uh, follows me on Twitter. You can see already on the left, but I'll show you again. Uh, hashtag is Haber. 32.5k spent, 20k left from All Welcome Back and Objective Packs plus Web App Trading. They got 20,000 coins in this team. It's a nice team, to be fair, considering you haven't spent any FIFA points, and this is, you've only spent 35,000 coins. This team, I'm oh, sorry, 32,000 coins. This team is actually really nice. Um, in terms of upgrades I'd make to the squad, obviously you've got it. Well, I mean, you don't have to, but you want a French goalkeeper. Um, I would maybe go with, uh, I mean, you could go with Ariola at goalkeeper. I don't know how much he is, if he's really expensive or not, but he looks decent. Um, or maybe you just work on get like getting a better French goalkeeper there. Obviously, you want to go and get like uh, maybe a Malcuit looks decent this year or an Aguila at right back. Um, that's definitely a position you want to upgrade. Same with left back. Uh, Roussillon is good this year. However, I think Hakimi is a better option. He's a, about half the price and uh, I don't think there's that much in it to pay double the price, to be honest. And then up top, I would personally not go with Dembele and go with someone a little bit faster, maybe more nimble. Um, thinking of your options, really. French options, I don't think there is many. Same with really Bundesliga slash Croatian. So you're probably going to struggle there. Um, maybe it might be a good idea instead to potentially um, go with Cyprian up top. Uh, make him a striker, maybe spend like three to 5,000 coins converting him to a striker just so you start in game and then playing a striker at centre mid. Again, spend three to 5k uh, making them a centre mid and going with someone that will get links maybe to your right back, maybe a Ben Yedder. Um, although, actually, no, Ben Yedder would totally work. I'm talking rubbish. Ben Yedder would totally work. I would go with Ben Yedder there, to be honest. Um, I would definitely go with Ben Yedder. Uh, I think that Ben Yedder would be a great option there to improve your squad. And he looks incredible this year. So I would say Ben Yedder. And, uh, and then obviously just go with maybe Hakimi at left back. Aguilar at right back. And uh, a better French goalkeeper. And then you're on your way to just improving step by step your squad. Um, and then of course you can go with maybe a better centre mid eventually. Better uh, centre backs. Better other centre mids. Uh, better right, right wings and left wings. I can't even speak today. You know, that's how I would grow the squad. And I, I do like the uh, the structure of the squad. How is Tolisso? That is one question I do have. Because I'm guessing you're going to go for his 85 after the seasonal objectives. He looks solid, uh, and be interesting to see how good his 85 is as well. Next is from Oscar. Not going to say his last name because I like ads on my videos. Um, <laughs> no, but this is Oscar's team. Hasn't told me anything about the team. Just left me a hashtag as Haber and sent me the team. Um, but he's got a nice team, actually. It seems like he's spent big in left wing, two centre mids, and right centre back. I think that you've probably put most of your coins there although looking at i'm hoping these are loans down here if you just have a a, a hullet and a, a and a van dyke and a, a lineker down there then geez but i'm guessing they are loans i would put money on that the fact that they are loans um but i think you've spent a lot of coins over here and really not left a lot of coins for the rest of your squad i would personally sell havertz or goretzka probably havertz for me and then build the squad in a more efficient way with your coins so for example instead of having that uh that right center mid go with maybe zakaria instead of the right back go with maybe mbabu uh instead of stark at left center back i would personally go with Ikanji. instead of um i believe that's bennett at left back i would personally go with a hakimi i think hakimi is good this year um and then up top i would personally go with maybe a Poulsen. a Poulsen would be decent this year apart from that like uh, that, they're the changes i'd make to your squad to be honest i think that um i think that Sometimes it's difficult to get caught up in buying uh, big on certain positions and then leaving the rest of your squad kind of weak. So I think that if you are looking to upgrade your squad, I would personally do it in that way. But then again, if you are happy with your squad and you're really enjoying it, then play which way makes you feel more comfortable. That's just personally what I would do because I think that you've probably gone with a little bit too much here and there and not enough on the other pay, uh, places. And I feel like you'll probably get exposed if they're going down your the, the right wing against your Bennett or they're going across midfield against your your weaker midfielder or you know they keep attacking your left centre back as opposed to your right centre back um, or maybe you find yourself in front of goal and you can't score because Bebu and the striker who I don't know who that is are struggling to put the ball in the net that's just why the way I'd feel about it so uh, that's the advice I would give you aside from that um, I do like the foundations of the team and I think that obviously when you get more coins um, you could have a good team there with obviously Lucas Hernandez and Goretzka and, and Havertz um, and that Lucas Hernandez let me know how he is because I would love to hear it and evidently you have an incredible bench as well so 
I won't want to face you at the 87th minute. I should say that. The next team is from Joel, who, of course, follows me on Twitter. He said, hashtag Hayba, what center mid do you recommend? I'm guessing you are trying to replace uh, Lingard. Now, I'd have to know how many coins you've got. Um, looking at your team, you do have a nice team. You probably have a few coins here and there. I would make a estimation that you have at least 50,000 coins. Maybe I could be wrong with that. And I'm not entirely sure if I am wrong with that or not. But what I would go with personally is... First of all, I would look at Sizoko, uh, Musa Sizoko. Let me have a look how much this guy goes for. Thirty-seven thousand coins would be a good uh, would be a good centre mid for you. I personally look at uh, definitely Musa Sizoko. Looking at your team, you've got obviously Endon Bele and Torreira. They are two not necessarily very defensive players. I mean, Torreira is defensive. Sorry, Endon Bele is not necessarily um, incredibly defensive. He's got what seventy defending. So maybe you want to go with a a Deli Ali instead as well. I, I would personally go with either Deli Ali or Sizoko. Both of which I think would be great options for you. Have fantastic stats for a centre mid. Um, I think Deli Alli would be better going forward and Suzuko better coming back. So it depends what you are lacking in your team. Um, I'd also like to know how good Harry Kane is for you because personally, I don't think Harry Kane would fit the meta that, that much this year. Uh, I don't think that I would like Harry Kane this year, but... That's just my opinion, and I would love to hear your opinion on the on the matter and hear what you have to say about Harry Kane and uh, if you like him or not. Aside from that, I do like the squad. Um, Pepe looks incredible this year. Can't wait to try him out. Same with Felipe Anderson. Um, and same with Lindelof, actually. Lindelof looks really good this year. Can't wait to try him out in a cheaper, cheaper side. But... Let's go on to the fifth and final team for the episode. Fifth time the charm. Thank you, Teodor, for saving me. Finally, we have someone that's actually given me a lot to go off with this squad. So, Teodor follows me on Twitter and is an absolute legend. Uh, so, the hashtag is Haber. Hey, this is my team. Second pitch is how I play in game. All tradable except a pie. Currently, I don't have any coins to upgrade, but I'll soon buy FIFA points. So, I am open to any upgrade. So, this is how he starts. And this is how he plays in game. Now, for the purpose of it, I'm actually going to stay on the in game for now whilst I talk about it. Um, and we will uh, we will continue. Now, in terms of upgrades, when you do buy FIFA points, depending on how many you buy, I'm going to give you uh, cheaper and then more expensive upgrades for you to make. So, the cheaper upgrades I would definitely make Ariola at goalkeeper, because I don't think Trap looks incredible this year. I just don't think he looks amazing. Um, I would then also replace uh, Ducore with Suzoko. I think that in total, uh, I don't know how much uh, Ariola actually is. I'm going to quickly check now how much Ariola is i guess like eight thousand coins um yeah around eight thousand coins um so in total you've probably spent about forty thousand coins there on upgrades i like your front four i wouldn't change that for now um i then look at maybe your left back now in terms of how you play how you start sorry he's off chem and uh, anyway sorry maybe at left back i would personally go with who's a good option um, if you're able to snipe him, I would go with Furland Mendy. If not, then I'd probably keep uh, Hernandez, to be honest. Um, I don't know if I said Lucas or Theo for the uh, for Oscar's team. I meant to say Lucas because this is Theo. Um, but I would personally probably keep Theo if you can't snipe uh, Furland Mendy. Then with your right back, does he need a strong link? He doesn't need the strong link. So I'd possibly go with Aguilar at right back. I think he'd be better than Sidibe. Um, and then in terms of expensive upgrades that I would make for you, uh, the expensive upgrades I would personally look towards making would be completely scrapping your defense. I know it kind of ruins the eco structure of your team. I like what you're going with, but I think that I personally scrap your defense. I would personally go with Varane. Um, I go with Ferlin Mendy at left back, Varane. Uh, and then I personally go with maybe like a Laporte at right back and in goal a Larice. And then go with, uh, uh, sorry, right centre back Laporte. And then at right back, Jao Cancelo. Uh, then at right CDM, I would go with, again, Sizoko. I think Sizoko is a good player this year. Or maybe a Pogba if you get really lucky in FIFA weights or you're spending a lot. I don't know. Uh, that's why I'm giving you two different options. And then up in attack, I don't think, I again, don't think I'd change much. Uh, until you start going upwards to players like, for example, Martial, Rashford, players like that, uh, which doesn't work with your team at all at the minute in the way that it sets out. I would personally keep your attack because it is really good and fit the meta quite well um but that's a change i'd make to your team and uh, i think that kind of wraps up the episode or at least gets us to the end part of the episode so we'll switch over to uh my team again and uh and, and finish this off don't know why i felt the need to narrate that at all and by the way i'm recording this very very late so i'm pretty tired which is why i'm probably slurring my words and i do apologize for that as I slide again. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you guys did, then leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are near around here. And let me know if you uh, if you want to see more I rate your teams. And if you do, um, then be sure to uh, to leave a like and support this video. And make sure you enter the... Uh, well, not enter. It's not a competition. 
But just make sure that you, uh, if you want to get involved in the next episode, then make sure you just uh, follow the steps to uh, to get involved in it, really. Um, I do appreciate all you guys' support, and uh, I don't know what I've actually got here. I've got a couple of packs here to end it off on. Uh, I was just claiming a couple of the uh, objectives, which I'm still getting used to, but I think uh, I think they're pretty cool. So we've got a Premium Gold 13 pack and a Two Players pack. We'll quickly open up these to end off the video. Um, this one is going to be a, a rare, actually. We've got a rare player in this. It's not going to be a board drop. Could it be someone useful, though? Furlan Mendy, maybe? No, it's going to be Ruben Alcaraz, unfortunately. But yeah, um, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. I really enjoy the I Rate Your Teams videos. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I decided... Oh, wait, this is all untradeable. We might as well store all this. I don't know why I decided to wait until now to record it. It is, like I said, like 4.30 a.m. in the morning. And I've just been to the gym as well, so I'm pretty tired. And I don't know why I waited all this time to record it. Next time, I will be definitely more energetic for the video. But yeah, like I said, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, thank you for your epic support on the channel recently. 100,000 subs is incredible. I know we hit it a few days ago. And you guys, obviously, with the new YouTube system, can't see. But we are almost at 101k. Um, or we are pushing towards it anyway. So, uh, which I, I really I really appreciate. And I just appreciate, in general, what you guys uh, show into the channel in terms of the love and support. So, uh, it's pretty crazy. Uh, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you later.